Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel. Today, I just wanna get ready on camera, so if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll stick around. I've got a lot of new products that I want to test out as I get ready for filming my next video. I've got some Beauty Pie, Danessa Myricks, Phytosurgeons, the whole shebang. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll stick around, hang out with me, and get ready with me, honestly. Let's jump into it. All right, I'm so happy to be filming. I feel like I'm on a roll now and I'm hoping that this is a bonus video. So for everyone that has been watching regularly, that means the world to me. To all the new people that are here, we've had a couple new people join, which is so exciting. Thanks for being here as well. So this one is for you guys specifically. But also I have a lot of new stuff I want to play around on my face. So it's gonna be an experimental one. I just wanna catch up on life, but per usual, I need to do skin prep, it's been a minute. So I have a couple of new skin prep things that I wanna get into. So the first being the Beauty Pie Youth Balm 360 Radiance Concentrate with exclusive Biolodge Elastic Complex to help firm, lift, tighten, visibly soften lines and wrinkles, boost radiance and enhance luminosity. Packaging is absolutely gorgeous. They do such like thick paper cartons that are just outstanding. And looking at the ingredients, nothing is standing out to me that should irritate my skin. I have had quite the skin situation. It's kind of been a saga for honestly two weeks now. It started right before the wedding. My hormones were acting up, 50 day cycle, PCOS, all that, and exploded. Like I needed a break from filming and we'll get into that whole break for filming. But this is what the package looks like. Look how fancy. Oh, and it has a dropper. I have heard that like you have to, yeah, you have to press pretty hard on this. So a tip is to like put two fingers underneath the lid like that and then drop it in. Oh, dang. You really got to like pump it. Man, their packaging always feels luxe. It is a glass bottle, but some of it is just not up to par when it comes to how it dispenses. I talked about that in the Beauty Pie full face with the sprayers that they have on their toners. I mean, that feels very light. That has me hopeful. And I almost feel like that full dropper, it was enough, but I like even more. It doesn't feel as hydrating as some of my other kind of prep primers, but this almost to me is gonna be like a nighttime serum. You do get a hefty amount. There's 1.69 fluid ounces. And look how cute, it's made in Switzerland. There's like a little Swiss flag, love that. All right, next I'm going to soothe my eyes. Typical, we can maybe start to get into, I took a break. I took like a week and a day when it comes to uploading on YouTube and you guys, I took three weeks off before starting my new role. I did not take time off. I was doing house projects. Frank kept me very busy as he is a small puppy. And then also, filming, editing, and uploading YouTube videos is not for the faint of heart. You have to really love every step of the process unless you can just dish out the money to have someone else do the things that you don't like to do. I am not good at taking time off. I'm gonna go in with the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Sunscreen 2-in-1 SPF 50. Hydrate skin with lightweight texture, no white castor residue. It is a chemical sunscreen. I have been using this. Absolutely love it. It looks like it's going to be white casty, but it is not, and it does fit in with that True Cream Aqua Balm family. Just absolutely lovely. Feels nice and moisturizing. It's not as gel-like as the Aqua Balm, but it really disappears into the skin and feels super hydrating from like a water standpoint, not from like an occlusive standpoint. But it is occlusive, I mean, it's a sunscreen. It's a little heavier than like a traditional moisturizer. You can feel it on the skin a little bit, but I I love it and belief we'll get back into the skin conversation. But part of the reason why my skin was so angry is because I am not good at taking time off and then I burn myself out and I kind of hit that wall and I just couldn't find the time to sit down and film. I tried to film a couple of times and you could tell like towards the end of right before I took the break, my mind was just like all over the place. I could not string a sentence together eloquently 
and it was like hot messery at its finest. I'm a Virgo, I don't like to be in the chaos. We have a specific brand of chaos, but when it comes to being organized and professional, that is not the chaos that we like. So it was, it was just rough. So thank you for everyone bearing with me for that little break. It did wonders. I started my new job. I just finished week two. I'm now getting in the hang and routine of what that schedule looks like because starting a new job, I always do this to myself where I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited to start a new job. Um, I can't wait. Like, it's going to be so good. But then you forget that like with starting a new job, you have all the onboarding, like you start the job, but you also have this like extra workload of doing all of the onboarding stuff. And the company I'm at now, I'm very grateful, has such a great onboarding program, but it takes up a lot of mental energy. We'll put it that way. Um, so it was nice to take a little bit of a break, but my skin, dang, she was so mad and the stress on top of the hormones really, really did it in. And then also I had, I don't, I don't drink alcohol regularly and I don't eat a lot of sugar regularly. I try not to because of my PCOS and I really went ham at that wedding. I had a few cocktails, nothing crazy, but what killed me is here in Pittsburgh, we do what is called a cookie table at weddings. And our cousin Meg is like the baker of the world. So her cookies are always good. My mother-in-law's cookies are always good. And I just went to town on some cookies and it really showed in my skin because really the craziness from hormones should have been over by the time we got back from the wedding. But lo and behold, they had only just begun. I usually never break out on my cheek, although that is a hormonal area. This one like hurt. And then the things that went on over here, I will be scarred for a very long time. It was nuts. It was nuts. That goddess or goblin, <laughs> that goblin to goddess video was nothing compared to what happened next on my face. So I just went in with the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel and now I'm going to do a little bit of spot concealing with the rose ink. Yeah, hormones and skin problems can really, you don't really want to hop on YouTube. And then I thought about doing like overhead videos, but I don't know that that's really my style. I would be happy to. And I do think that there are videos that I could film where that would be helpful, like swatches or um, going through like lip products. Let me know. Let me know if you like those overhead style videos. Also, just let me know what you would like to see. I I'm getting ready to film one that we've talked about for a couple weeks now. I'm not going to ruin the surprise, but it's going to be so good. And I cannot wait to finish getting ready and then put on the outfit that I have planned for that video. It's going to be good. I'd love to know what's going on with you guys too, though. Like, I feel like I spill my guts on camera probably more than I should. I'm like, I love getting the comments and lear like learning about you guys connecting with you, hearing what you like, hearing what's going on in your life. Some of the beauty strategy videos were so fun because people would be like, the rich lady shower, a couple people commented like, I really needed this and that, that felt so good, but also like knowing that I'm not the only person that gets super depleted. I mean, we all get depleted, but finding people who kind of cope in the same way is a lot of fun, truly a lot of fun. I want to dip back into my beauty pie under eye genius because that beauty pie video really made me fall back in love. That's what happens with this. I will use it for a while, put it down because I'm on to something else. But really, I love this, especially over top of the Chantecaille foundation. It really did. It was like minimal under my eye, which I love because the creasing is far less. That's also been a saga on the channel. but. I do really love this product and it goes in so nice. It is hydrating. It's not going to dry you out. It's not going to look cakey and it gives me just enough brightness that I need. The look today is probably going to be an iteration of my strong wing, just what I like. And the video today is not centered around my makeup. So we'll see. I'm kind of nervous to bust into this Danessa Myricks blurring balm powder situation 
I've tried it a couple of different ways with the um, tinted version in the fair shade and I don't know that it's for my skin but my skin is healing if you guys would like to see a video on how I kind of like nurse my skin back to health after an episode like that let me know um, a lot of it has it's not necessarily any one product that fixes it if anyone tells you that they don't know what they're talking about everyone's skin is so different but there are certain ingredients that you can focus on and certain types of products you can focus on but unfortunately you are gonna have to kind of go through the trial and tribulation of figuring out which product in those categories with those ingredients works best for you do not listen to anyone else that says otherwise there is no miracle cure I could do a whole video on miracle cures drives me insane and now I'm just doing contour and bronzer with Patrick Ta. I want to look very summery today. It is a gorgeous day. However, the outfit that I am going to put on screams summer in the best way. And I just want it to be fun. Also, I want to ask about allergies. Is anyone else's allergies? Like mine still kill me, but for some reason this year, they're not as bad as usual. And I could not be happier about that. But other people I talk to, as I itch my face, other people I talk to say they have been worse this year. Let me know. Let me know if you have bad allergies and if they're worse or better this year. We did get a proper winter here where I'm located and I think that that absolutely helped, but you never know. I'm going with the Kosas Brow now and I need a mirror. And dash to the rescue, I mean, I love this palette so much, so, so much. This is a forever favorite. Uh, even when and if I pan these, I, I definitely am gonna pan that white and that gray. I will absolutely be repurchasing this palette once it no longer performs like it should years down the line, I will repurchase it then. I do not want to be without this. It comes in handy like almost every time I do my makeup. Also, let me know how this lighting is going. I'm really trying to continuously learn and upgrade my situation. Obviously, I'm not gonna sink thousands of dollars into this just yet. If I grow to a point where that seems responsible, I absolutely will because equipment is very expensive, but this new light I think really does help it's a little strange for me to get used to filming because it is, it is very bright. <laughs> it's very bright even on the lowest setting and it looks crazy. I think I'm gonna do my regular strong wing. I don't think I'm going to top it with fractal freesia, although I've been obsessed with doing that. I kind of want it to be a very clean look because we're gonna have to make some decisions here shortly and I cannot, I cannot choose. I just dropped something. Because everything is so pretty. Let's see. What I am, what I am debating. I want to do strong wing, lots of mascara, but then I am so torn between this vision flush in sweet nectar or this Beauty Pie lip, and honestly, I think they're gonna go together. I'm going to put Sweet Nectar on my cheeks, I think, and then we'll go from there. But then I'm also sad because I just picked up Smolder and Singe. Singe is a much more kind of like pink color. Smolder is like such a good summer color. I don't know. Let's start with a touch of this Sweet Nectar. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so sad opening it because then I've, I've got to use it quick. But look at that color. That is a bright ass color. And we are going to have to be very delicate when applying. So I might actually bring in Smolder anyway. I'm going to use this e.l.f. brush. These e.l.f. brushes that are in the rose gold, this is the angled blush brush with the white fiber bristles. These are amazing for cream products. And the pack is like 14, I think. Gonna go in very, very gently. And I'm taking that off the back of my hand. I am not brave enough to directly dot this color on my face because it is 
not playing around. But that is so cool. I love this color. I have not traditionally been like a very big coral person in the past. I remember every time a beauty magazine would come out and it'd be like the summer or the color of the season for summer is coral. And I'd be like, yeah, but not for me. It never looked good on me. And all the corals that they would recommend for very fair skin were like so boring to me. And I wanted to rock electric and sometimes, you know, the trends don't follow the coloring of your skin. But I'm just getting to the point where like, if I wanna wear a color, I'll make it work or I'll find kind of the more fine tuned color that works for me. And I think that does. It is, again, not playing around. I'm gonna add a little bit more to, yeah, this side. But these Vision Flush, I'm gonna end up ordering more. I just know it. The new colors are fan freaking fantastic. I'm so glad she expanded. Oh, I still think I have more. It could be the lighting, but we're gonna, we're gonna continue to layer that because I love it anyway. Add a little bit to that just to even it out. You guys, this is, it's coming together. I kind of want to leave the blush not too crazy but I do think I want to take a little bit of smolder towards the back of my cheeks I will swatch that that is smolder it is tan it probably is very close in color to Natasha Denona's tan to be honest I'm gonna keep that towards the bottom of where I place blush and back here and here just to kind of maybe build up a little bit more bronzer and I'm gonna bring some of that to my temple god phytosurgeons all day Hindash phytosurgeons those are the and thrive that's who I'm endorsing on my channel I'm gonna take a little down my neck as bronzer oh yeah she's summery she's so summery I hope this isn't all over the place. I also hope you guys like this. Just giving a little, you know, extra content for you. I am going to go apply my eyeliner and my mascara off camera. Just because you guys have seen me do it a million times. I'm going to do that and then we will be right back. I totally experimented. Okay, I'm going to run through what I did and then we'll talk through it. So in the Hindash, I mix it up a little bit and I use just tan line. So just the white up here and then this as my crease shade. There was a little shimmer left over on my brush. We're doing that after this filming session is cleaning brushes. But I used the Stila All Day. What is this called? Stila All Day Dual Ended Liquid Liner. Now, is it perfect? Absolutely not. Did I learn a lot? Yes. I want to do a look like this where I just highlight the top with white. I also want to play with different color liners. So that's coming up on my channel. I'm chasing a couple of feelings recently and that's one of them. The learning is do the white before the black. I got a little bit of black on the tip and it also kind of re-wets the black. So it does stain the tip. You can work it off on your hand. You can see where I was doing that here. And it would work perfectly for that. The white is not as great as black, but I imagine making a white liner is difficult. All right, I'm really liking how this looks so far though. I really like that blush color. Now, I think it's time to get into the part that I'm nervous about, and then we'll finish this off with lips. Danessa Myricks, Yummy Skin, Blurring Balm Powder, Face and Eyes. Let's just take a look at the back. It says a texture reducing, coverage boosting, blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration. Powered by cutting edge, blurring Swedish technology, Upsolite visually creates a soft focus effect on pores and fine lines. How to tap on with fingers to smooth and blur textured areas. So, Again, I have it in the shade Universal. That's what the carton looks like. Let's bust this baby open. All right, I did get this on a 30% off day. I will say it's absolutely stunning. Looks like this. 
Comes with a spatula that fits in the lid. I wish more products that were potted came with something like this. Scoop it out, has her little initials on the back, which is so cute, her initials on the top, and the bronze color is just pretty, pretty. And this is metal. Component is plastic, it's metal, oh, it's fresh, how pretty. Looks like this. I'm guessing you can scoop this out, put it on the back of your hand. I'm not gonna do that because we're going in very, very lightly with this. I have never shied away from this. I have acne, I have texture, that's who I am as a person. I really like using the Phytosurgeons um, Spectral Shine and Divine Daylight to blur. It does not add a powder finish. That makes me nervous about this. However, I've gotten rid of a lot of the texture, especially in this area from those recent breakouts. I exfoliated this morning and you just saw me layer up the hydration. Like I feel sticky and moisturized and happy. Sticky in a good way, you know. These do remain a little tacky but they don't transfer they don't transfer okay I'm gonna go in with my finger and just rub some product it feels so strange oh wow it almost it feels what does this feel like it feels like a dry oil it feels like a dry oil it's translucent you're not gonna see anything I was wondering if the shine would show a little bit it feels bizarre. I wonder if you can see the texture in the pan. It feels super oily. More so, I think the colored one kind of felt a little powdery. I'm going to scoot in. No judgment zone. Let's see. Let's see if you can see the texture that I have here. Oh, yes, you certainly can. I'm going to tap that on and we'll see if we see a difference it doesn't seem to be picking up anything that I've already put down which is nice and it's off my finger so it's definitely on my skin I can't wait to watch this back you guys tell me down below did it blur here's the other side looking in the mirror this side does look much more blurred and honestly it definitely mattified that's going to kind of decrease the appearance of texture and pores anyway when you are matte like a soft matte i would describe this as a soft matte okay i'm gonna go in to this side now really taking time to like tap that in because i don't want it to disturb anything underneath but so far it doesn't seem to be i mean What do you guys think? I mean, I'm not kind of impressed with this. The colored one, I just haven't fully wrapped my head around how to use. I'm gonna use this on this line up here just to see. I mean, that's a deep line. I'm not expecting miracles here, but I also wanna mattify a little bit there. It doesn't look like it adds any kind of like weight or cakiness. I'm trying to find the areas to like really test it. This is really where I have problems. I'm gonna add build it maybe I mean I almost feel like it's luminous in like a very soft finish way that does blur that kind of like that phytosurgeons I will say this so far is there's no learning curve you just pick it up tap it in call it a day I cannot imagine scooping a large amount of this out though Let, maybe let's try right here we're gonna go for broke here. Okay, there's before. And this part typically gets really heavy looking on me. So that'll be a good test too. Do we see a difference? Am I blurred? I will say it doesn't mattify to the point of taking away like healthy skin luminosity. Like you can see my forehead's still very luminous. I wanna pick it up, <laughs> we're like experiment. Experimentation. I wanna pick it up on a brush. I'm actually gonna use the brush that I concealed with. It's just a fluffy brush like this. These are really good for powder and cream. I'm gonna dip into that and again, apply a little extra here. We're really building it and it doesn't seem to be adding any caking. I'm gonna add some. 
to my chin here, who is also very textured. The whole face really is very textured. I think I prefer the control of the finger because you can really tell where you're putting it in. I, I'm so much happier with this than the tinted version. We'll do a video with the tinted version and this side by side maybe and do a comparison, but first impressions of this, I really like it. I think it does what the Phytosurgeons does for me and it's a huge tub of it for about the same price as Phytosurgeons, although that Phytosurgeons I've used and used and used and does not look like anything. I think if for some reason you're unable to get your hands on Phytosurgeons and you want to try that blurring technique or you're nervous that the Phytosurgeons might add a little mu too much luminosity, although I think they're on par in that department, this might be a good thing for you. I'm gonna, we're gonna, my thoughts are all jumbled. Let's move on to lips and I will recap at the end and that'll give me time to kind of like sit on that, you know? For lips, I did not prep my lips, but I think the product that we're going to use today is going to be fine without. It's the Beauty Pie Shine Up Lip Color Balm in Super Jutsi. I'm so excited. Perfect companion, I think, to that Danessa Myricks. We'll even swatch right next to it. It's a little bit more like watermelon pink, but I think they'll lend well to each other, and I've been dying to wear this color. Love that it is a pointed tip, easy to get precise application, and it is moisturizing and balmy, so it won't matter that I didn't lip prep, and it won't get all weird and migrate around when I am talking a lot in the next video. I will say I am not shocked that this is sheerer than the sexy berry color that I have because Beauty Pie is not creating like super colorful statement lips. It's just not their brand. They do a lot of subtle beauty makeup colors, if that makes sense, not playful makeup. So that is true there, but I love this. This lip color, uh, hello summer. I'm really happy with this look. I am going to run through kind of a recap just of the new products because then I am running out of daylight and I need to film the next video, which I'm very excited to do. So let's start with the Skin Prep, the Youth Balm. Obviously it's the first time I used it. I will continue to use this and report back on it, but on first impressions, it hydrates. It's not overly hydrating, but I think this is like a long-term thing probably why they give you so much and for things like fine lines, plumping, lifting, it's going to be a long-term thing. I think the claims are a lot, so we'll see, but excited to continue to use this. We'll report back, like I said, the Janessa Myricks Vision Flush samples that I had. I have used her Vision Flush full size on my channel before. I have two full size colors, the Sugar Plum, which is the Hot Fuchsia, and then the I believe it is her um, nutcracker that's kind of like, it's this color right here. It's kind of like in between a bronzer and a blush. I absolutely love that one. It is so close to being a dupe for that color pop one that I have. And now I really love Sweet Nectar. I think I am going to be getting a full size of this. It's such a nice color for summer. And those I have worn on my lips, I will say. So on the cheek, they're beautiful. They remain a little bit tacky, but they do dry down. They're not sticky. You can see they're not sticking to my hand. Um, and they don't transfer, so they do dry down. It's just, could be a combination of all the moisturizing things on my face. For the lips, the um, pointed tip applicator really does help, again, with precision there. They are not a liquid lipstick, and they are not, they're thin, and they will kind of like do a nice little stain on the lips, which I appreciate. I love doing the Vision Flush on my lips and then putting a gloss over top like the Fit Glow. It wears down beautifully. If you wear just that on your lips, it might be a little drying, but it does give a beautiful satin appearance. So absolutely love that. Love it on the cheeks. Am going to buy more. Then the Belief, I skipped. The Belief True Cream Aqua Balm Sunscreen. I knew that I was gonna love this as soon as I purchased it. Um, so far, so good. Even when my skin was in the midst of all of its trouble, I was able to wear this without any negative reaction. Off the top, I don't know which chemical filters are in this. I'll pop them up on the screen, so just make sure that you're not 
going to react adversely to any of those if you're looking into this, but there is no white cast. I will attest to that. It is moisturizing. I love this. Love this, love this. So happy to have it. And it's SPF 50. Who wouldn't love? The Stila All Day, I'll mention again because the white is new to me. The white was a little disappointing, but I think if I use this first, I would be much more happy with it. Use it first, let it dry, and then go over with the black. It is pretty pigmented for a white liner. Just one swipe will get you that. So incredible. Then the black. I, gosh, I love the Beauty Pie, but this one stays all day. Stays all day. And I'm getting used to how fine this is because when I do kind of like my chunky wing, I really have to kind of work to fill it in. But I love this one for doing more of like an elongated thin wing. So if you like getting it close to the lash line, you like a thin wing, a fine point, absolutely would recommend that. It is a little pricey, but they also have a lot of cool color combinations. So check it out if you're interested in that. Then I'm going to save the last Vanessa Myers for last, the Beauty Pie Shine Up Lip Color Balm in just super juicy. What is happening to my brain? I love this color. It's such a fun summer color. Spring even. It's like that watermelon pink. Honestly, it pairs beautifully with that Danessa Myers color I chose, but this would go absolutely outstanding with Natasha Jenna Puff Paint and Daria. So kind of in that same family. Then the Phytosurgeons um, Skin Spark Blush. I already love this formula. I have a video all about this formula on my video. Go check that out if you're interested, but Smolder is a beautiful color beautiful color especially for summer works on a lot of people it's just a nice kind of almost terracotta tan not a deep red terracotta more like a light like a dry terracotta pot whereas some of those are more of like a wet terracotta pot you know and then last but not least the Janessa Myricks yummy skin universal blurring balm powder I think I like this I really do I a quick again on the products that are new to me, like this and the Youth Balm, I will absolutely continue to follow up on these. But the translucent, I would recommend. The tinted ones, I am not so sure about. I will keep you updated. I will continue to play with that. I've tried it on top of makeup, under makeup, on its own. But now that my skin is kind of coming back from her torturous period, I will keep testing that and let you know. But so far, I do really like this. I think it does for me similar things what the Phytosurgeon Skin Spark does, but with no pigment, no kind of like glitter to be seen. Like it really is just like a clear balm, no glitter. And it's such a hefty size. And it's such a cool and interesting texture. Definitely play with your hands with this. Um, the brush will work, but I like the control of the fingers again. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little extra video. Let me know what's going on in your life. I hope you're having a great time. I hope your skin is not acting up like mine. And I hope that you will come back and check in for the video I'm about to film. I guess if you've made it this far, you deserve to know what it is. It is my fit video. I've got Deborah waiting in the wings, which is my mannequin. And we're going to talk about how companies come up with fit. How do you measure yourself? And maybe some insider tips and tricks on how to find the best fit for you. And I will see you in that video, hopefully. Have a good one, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.